So good. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Tokyo Creative Play video. Uh, this is another kind of behind the scenes of the yeah. Jimmy Across Japan trip. Uh, Charlotte and I took off from Chris. We needed our break from Chris. We, need, we needed it. We got it. We rented a whole new car. We a whole new car. We had to get away from Chris for a little bit. <laughs> so Chris is actually currently uh, still cycling in a different location here in Kyushu. He's actually still in, I think, right Fukuoka about. Prefecture. Yeah. And he's coming down to Kumoto Prefecture to meet us. We actually came to Kumoto Prefecture a day early yeah. um, so that we can shoot this video for you guys talking about Kumoto Castle and the surrounding area around it. If you guys didn't know, Kumoto Castle was the big earthquake in Kumoto Prefecture in April 2016, yeah. which completely destroyed this castle, which is very unfortunate because it really it's is. actually one of the three great castles that was never actually taken over yeah. by enemy clans. Which is past. really rare in Japan because yeah. all the castles get destroyed. Yeah. This is one of the ones that had never been destroyed by an attack, but it unfortunately got destroyed by an earthquake. So if you guys didn't know, Kumoto Castle was uh, built or designed by a very famous guy called Kato Kiyomasa, mm -hmm. who was a local feudal lord back in the day. He was actually, he actually designed this so well that the Tokugawa Ieyasu, mm -hmm. I think I said his name correctly. That is correct. Uh, appointed him to also build the Nagoya or help build the Nagoya castle. Yeah. Actually, in Japanese, there's something called the Sanmeijo, which is literally three famous castles. Yes, is the kanji character. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Kumoto Castle is one of them, as well as Nagoya Castle and Osaka. Osaka. So not only did he build a beautiful castle, but he made it. It, it was well built strategically yep. as well, so it could withstand attacks. So that's why this is one of the most impressive castles in Japan. Today we're going to explore uh, Kumoto Castle, uh, show you guys yeah. exactly um, how beautiful it still is, even though it's kind of in ruins, mm -hmm. and explore the surrounding village around it, which actually has all your famous Kumamoto products yeah. or foods that you can eat there. I can't wait. So I can't wait. Let's get going. Let's go. display here where you can actually see how the reconstruction process works. First what they did is they recorded the condition of the collapse and then they numbered each one of the stones. You can see them here actually, the red lettering on each of the stones, they're all numbered so that they know exactly which spot to put them back in. Then they close the stones and then they place them out in lines like this in the order that they will be placed back in the castle. So the reason for that is because the stone walls are supposedly a historical site and cultural property. Yeah. So they want to restore every single stone back to its original position as best as they can. Yeah. Bro, Kumamoto. We are all rooting for Kumoto Prefecture and hopefully um, they can make it faster than If more people come here and visit it and, you know, support them financially, they yeah. might be able to do it a little faster. To get more people to assist them, so. Yeah. Let's explore more of Kumoto. Alright guys, we're heading down to the village that's located right next door to Kumamoto Castle. We're going to be getting some traditional Kumamoto foods. We're going to be learning a bit about the culture and the history and also looking at some souvenirs. Yeah, so let's get eaten. Yes. But actually going to be a lot of food. I uh, hope you didn't eat any breakfast. I Charla. didn't. I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. <laughs> So actually, um, we just went by the staff in the yellow jackets. Yeah. They're actually free volunteer volunteer uh, tour guides. Yeah, they're super nice. Really helpful. Really nice. And supposedly there's only one. This right? speaks English. English, English today, and Chinese speaking. Today, yes. He speaks English and Chinese. So definitely. Oh, oh well, the bus is coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're taking the free shuttle bus to the village right now. Sorry, we're doing it quickly because it just came. Can I get my camera? Oh, so right now we are on the free shuttle bus. That's going to head down to the village, Sakura no Koji, and also Waku Waku, Waku Waku area. <laughs> that makes you, you can experience history, culture, and a bunch of uh, food and products famous to Kumoto Prefecture. There's Charla. There, up there. <laughs> <laughs> so we just made it to Sakura no Koji, which is literally like a, what, a minute shuttle bus ride? It was really quick. So you yeah. could walk or you could take a shuttle bus. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's many foods here. Let's go, okay. Um, Ooh, that's the orange juice that we are looking oh, for. Oh yeah, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes. We're trying. 
trying the amanatsu fresh mikan juice now. This is a local specialty here in Kumamoto. She said it's a little sour. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. That's good. Wow. It has like a hint of grapefruit, but it's really not the sour that burns your mouth when you drink it. It's like the nice refreshing sour. I don't know how to explain it. I would love like a liter of that right now. I think I will get one. <laughs> Um, Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is so delicious. <laughs> wow, she speaks. She speaks Chinese too. All these months. So what do we have here? Let's see. She's Meru. She's metal. She's metal. Put it down Oh my god. So good. So good. Thank you. Kumamoto can no. Maybe it's what it is. ここの中にポテトサラダが入ってます。え、サラダ。はい、ポテトサラダ。はい、ポテトサラダ。インチゴはえ、チゴはインサイドポテトサラダ。わお。いい。グモトメイブス。メイブス。グモトのスローフード。
drink this or eat this supposedly yeah, in Syria. Yeah, this is definitely something I would want to eat on a cold chili bucket. Mm. Look at all the different vegetables. There's daikon, carrot, onion, shiitake mushrooms, green onions. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is, this is really healthy. It's a really healthy lunch. You got the vegetables. I got the meat. <laughs> that is some very marbled and juicy wagyu right there. And this is only 1,400 yen. It's pretty cheap. It's around 15 USD. This whole set was 1,000 yen, I think. Wow. Yeah, like 10 USD. Yeah. So I guess nothing really compares to how pricey Tokyo is. Everything seems cheap down here. <laughs> <laughs> It is like a creamy. It's good, so. right? Mm. That's really good. Right? I love this. There's some, there's some kind of like mochi thing inside of it. Mm -hmm. Isn't there? The noodles. The noodles are kind of like mochi. I don't oh, is that a noodle? Yeah. They look like noodles. Mm. なんで。どうして日本語がピラピラ。日本語長いんですよ。52年間くらい。うわ。で、今いきなり団子って言ったから、え、嘘。それが捨てたんですよ、いきなり。うわ。どうですか。これ持って帰るんでしょ。あ、
熊本城内で熊本ここお城の中にあるツツジ綺麗だなっつって、はい、これを写真撮ったその夜にこの地震1回目そしてもうこうやってみんなうわーね、もう私のこう住んでるとこ崩れたこう一緒にも倒れたみんなごたごたになったこうこお店うもうこんな状態お店そこ,、ね、そ,そこうん、はい、そうそうでまあちょっと崩れてたそして一服して<笑>コーヒーそして一日の一日の食事2人でこれだけ地震の翌日一日これだけでもうわっおおどけたーねずれてるでしょうでこうやってもう,、oh、もうこういう状態これが熊本地震す,すごいでしょもうこうありがとうございましたありがとうございましたどうもジョニーボーイ Thanks for carrying all of our bags man Here's your price いきなり団子<笑> Tell us what you think buddy It's the cream cheese one. Yes,、yeah, the cream cheese one. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very good. See, we are nice to our staff, right? Our camera people, right? We give、yeah. you guys breaks. He's,、uh, yeah, one today. One today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> we are back from、uh, Kumoto Castle area, and、yeah. right now, where are we? We are in Kumamon Square, which is located really close to Kumamoto Station. Basically, it's a really fun place where you can come to buy souvenirs. You can take cool photos with、mm. Kumamon. You can look at a whole bunch of Kumamon related products, souvenirs, products. Yeah.、Um, stickers, stamps, whatever you need. Anything Teddy bears. Kumamoto related. Anything Kumamon related, they probably have it here. You can also take a photo and video inside Kuma, Kumamon's office, which I was just in, or Kumamon's bike. Looks a little bit small for Kumamon, but、uh, that was what Charlotte was on. And then basically, you could just kind of explore、um, the famous mascot here in Kumamoto Prefecture. Yeah. And it looks like they have a stage over here, so I bet every once in a while Kumamon himself appears and does a performance if you're lucky.、Mm. So, we forgot to actually mention some very important facts about、uh, Kumamon. Yeah. It was actually started in, or not started, but created in 2010 by the Japanese government. Quite recently.、Yeah. Do you know why it was created? I don't. But I could probably guess. I'm guessing you can guess why. My guess would be to bring more tourism to the Kumamoto area. Exactly. Yes. That's why all Japanese governments make all of their mascots here in Japan. <laughs> But they're very successful at it. How much money have they made? So this bad boy right here has made 1.2 billion US dollars in just two years. Billion! That's ridiculous. So what that number means is that the amount of tourism brought to Kumamoto Prefecture, as well as all of these products sold that, you know, selling this creature. <laughs> or this bear animal、um, basically have brought in 1.2 billion dollars in just two years、uh, since it's open in 2010. That's very impressive. Very impressive. Definitely、uh, really popular in China,、uh, specifically because it's got this stupid, cute feeling, whatever that means. If you see videos of Kumamon online, you will understand exactly what that means. He's always doing something ridiculous. He has a very silly character, and I think that's why everyone loves him so much. Yeah, kind of strange. But <laughs> alright. But we're off to our next location, which is.、Uh, Suizenji Joju and Koen. Hope、so、you guys enjoy it. Let's get moving.、Oh. Our last location on this kind of one day in Kumoto Prefecture led us to. Suizenji Joju and Koen. Yes. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Supposedly,、uh, this garden is supposed to represent the 53 stations on the Tokaido Road. We have no idea what yep, that means. Yeah, no idea. What does that mean? I don't think you need to know what that means because the garden is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. I think you can definitely come here without. I mean, there's not much history to it. Without understanding the story behind it. I,、yeah. I, think, I think it's kind of irrelevant. I think more so this. Gardens. One of my favorite gardens in Japan, how beautiful it is. You can walk around almost yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I agree with you there. It's gorgeous. And I love these grass、yeah. mounds. Maybe these are what represent the stations. I'm that, kind of confused as to what these are, but I like them. Because there's so many. Maybe there's 53 of them. But there's not much information actually、uh, online. In the pamphlet, about or it, online. Yeah. yeah, so we're not really. 
hundred percent um, sure. But we enjoyed it. We did. It's very beautiful. It's definitely very picturesque, and you can take some amazing photos here. Yeah. Um, which is what most people do when they come to a garden, anyway. So <laughs> it has everything you could ever want. It's got a little uh, Inari shrine over there, kind of oh, like the yeah, one yeah. in Kyoto. A very mini version of it. You can take some cool pictures there. Um, there's beautiful fish in the water. The water is perfectly clear. Oh, like, perfectly clear. That's something I remember. What? So that water actually comes down from Mount Aso. Really? Via some kind of underwater system. I bet or something. it's like the most delicious water in the world. Yeah. Interesting. And we just made a video about Aso. We did. So definitely check out that if, if you it's haven't seen not it yet. It may might not be out yet at this time. But, but watch for it. It yes. was a fun day. It was <laughs> a really fun day. <laughs> but yeah, so today kind of wrapped it up. We went to Kumoto yeah. Castle and then we went to the surrounding area in Kumoto Castle, uh, around Kumoto Castle to eat literally every Kumamoto prefecture famous food. Which is delicious and you should not miss if you come to Kumamoto, eat all their food. And then we went to what we Kumamon just, Square. Square and then the garden. And then we also have another video that I just mentioned about Mount Aso. Yeah, so. yeah. Kumamoto has lots of really cool things to do. But on top of that, I think the thing I enjoyed the most about being here were, were the people. They're so lovely. Honestly, every single person that we ran into on our trip here, like staff or just random strangers, were so kind to us and really wanted to like strike up a conversation, mm. which is pretty rare in Japan. Uh, so I was, yeah, I was just blown away even by the, how uh, outgoing everyone was. Even the people at the entrance of this garden. Yeah, right? everybody's asking where we're we're from and they just seem so yeah. happy that we're here and yeah, it was very welcoming very very lovely prefecture so if you guys like to come out to prefecture want to learn more check the links uh, in the description down below yeah. if you guys want to wear yin and yang over here <laughs> if you want to match do you see us. where shop.tokocreative.com check that out yeah please like comment share, and subscribe to the Toka creative play channel thank you Sharla, for being a guest ah, again thanks for having me and we'll see you guys in the next Toka creative play video hopefully with emma <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>